The reason I thought of the nine marks as I did was because I saw it was unusual to be a mature or growing Christian in a church. Uh, and I just thought it shouldn't be like that. It should be normal in a church to find people who are actually growing as Christians. And so I started to, to look and think and pray and look at scripture and think, well, what, what's going on? And I just started jotting down some thoughts about why aren't churches more populated with people who are normally growing as Christians? And so I thought of various one of the things that I now call, you know, these nine marks of a healthy church. A, a biblical concern with discipleship and growth. And then part of that seems like, well, you've got to be able to say what a Christian is clearly in order to teach that. And that means part of that has got to say what a Christian isn't. So I started looking at this idea of church membership and church discipline, you know, bringing them in and putting them out because that kind of defines it. And then also behind that, of course, is a biblical idea, well, then how do you decide what a Christian is fundamentally comes from what you think the gospel is. So what is the gospel? And depending on what you think the gospel is, well then, okay, then what's conversion? What does it mean to become someone who believes this? And then what kind of evangelism do you practice in order to get these people in your church in the first place? And then, of course, the framework of that is the biblical theology. Okay, well, what, what is the Bible telling us as a whole? What's the, what's the framework of it? And then behind that, where does it all come from? It comes from the Word of God, if we think the Bible is the Word of God. And so, uh, kind of having a, a commitment to and an understanding of expositional preaching. That is, that what we want to do when we gather is hear from God. And so, the minister of the Word is supposed to give himself to reading and explaining and preaching and applying God's Word to us. And then the other one is just biblical church leadership. Because I thought, well, if you're going to make some changes that a commitment to these things is going to require in most churches, you're going to need some pretty solid leaders who are going to have wisdom and courage and humility. These nine marks are things that are biblical. They're things that we see in the scriptures when we read them. And some of them may not be very obvious because they haven't been being done in churches for a while, and some of them are very obvious. Some of them people talk about a lot, but these nine marks are things that are absolutely vital to the health of the church.